please. <laughs> You make that look so easy. Welcome uh, to the Fox 17 Rock and Review on the web. I'm hanging out with Tommy Emmanuel, uh, certified guitar player by Chad Adkins. Uh, you're uh, Order of Australia for your uh -huh. guitar and uh, charity work. And uh, you've got the uh, Kentucky Thumb Pickers Award. What <laughs> yeah. awards don't you have? You know, uh, it's like, I was going through your bio, it's like, wow, well, well, you know. I still haven't won the Oscar, but I'm <laughs> <laughs> There's a chance, Tommy. There's a chance. Yeah, but well. you know, we're here talking about your guitars, yeah. and and you've really uh, been involved. You've got the signature model here. Yeah, uh, this and is all three of the ones we have today, and that's the yeah. that's the early one. This is the earliest one. Um, there was one. Be there was one before this, which was a real experimental model, and it had a sharper cutaway. This one here was the one that they kind of said, well, okay, this is number one. This is now we got everything right, you know. Um, and it was, it's so strongly built. The electronics in this are the old original prototype um, and, and they have, um, it's an 18 volt system so it has ah. two 9 volt batteries inside it. So it's kind of, it's a bit bulky and it's a bit heavy. You right. know? So when, when we were working on the electronics of the guitar, they, they were, uh, I was saying, you know, it makes the guitar feel heavy, can we, can you design something that's made with a, what we call aluminium in Australia, what you call here aluminium, right? right? And, and I want to be able to put the batteries in the top, yeah. you know, instead to of load them having in. to take the strings off and put my hand inside, totally. all that, just all those technical issues. And they got all that right with this other pickup, which is called the AP5 um, uh, mic system. And it has a microphone built in as well. Um, and you just plug in and the actual electronics allow you to mix in as much mic so as you want. So you can mix in the mic and the bridge pickup. Yeah, you can do it. And this is still made by the, uh, the Maiton Company out Maiton of Australia. Company, yeah, they were started in the 40s, um, about the same time that Leo Fender started. Yeah, making, by making Bill May. Bill May, knew. yeah. Bill May was a really great Australian and a, a great guy. And he, he had a great vision for for um, the future of, of, of guitar. And he always built guitars by hand. Uh, and when, when uh, my brother and I started playing guitar, we both started on acoustic and then uh, we wanted electric guitars. And uh, so my father bought us two Maiton, what they were called in those days, they were called MS-500. Ah. Uh, and the MS stood for Master Sound. Um, and years later, they reissued it, and now that it's one of the most popular. I saw it on their models. website. Yeah, you know, because I, you know, having seen you play so much, I, I knew about the acoustics, but I didn't know about all the electrics they made as yeah, well. Yeah, they started on electrics first. Wow. You know? they, and they, they not only built um, solid body kind of rock and roll guitars. Right. They built jazz guitars. That's what I saw. Uh, Some yeah, beautiful I mean, jazz guitars. Yeah, I, I, I had one. The thing that was different with a Maiden to other like jazz guitars like Gibsons or Epiphones or that was that they were a lot easier to play. Wow. They were they were built with real fine necks, you know. I noticed that on yours when you pulled it out, and also I thought what was incredible, Tommy, is that they use the indigenous wood to Australia. Yeah. When they're building well, them. They're, these are just some of them. This is Queensland maple. The back and sides on that one and this one. This one here's a Rosewood, but they also have another one which is like a, a swamp ash. They have another um, um, uh, swamp wood that, okay. that, that, that's really light, and they, they build faces with that as well. Wow. And they, they really, they're experimenting all, all the time. Well, you know, and I, th I really think they got it down too, because we looked at, you know, originally with the uh, certified guitar player logo, and on your new one, you can really see the CGP. Yeah, they're, you know. they're well, what they're doing now is they're they're, they're making it, uh, if you go down the neck, there they go. I'm making their way down, look at that, there it is there. Yeah, that and, looks beautiful. Uh, and also I wanted to point out that on the headstock is a little kangaroo, which is a very Australian. Oh yeah. Um, here, here it comes the camera, making his way up. See There that? we go, right There's there a it little is. kangaroo. And um, that all started because a, an old guy at a show <laughs> gave me the, a gold one that's on the other Over one on this there. one. Yeah, and I just, attached. I just glued it on. Right. And, uh, and people started writing in saying, we want a kangaroo too. <laughs> <laughs> they wanted the real signature model, which you know, you have it right here with the kangaroo you yeah, put on there. Yeah, so now they're, now they're building them like this. Well, they're incredible but, you know, guitars. Uh, yeah, they are. And I mean, uh, Jean Larave, who, who's a great guitar builder, as most people know, Jean Larave once said to me, building a great guitar is a no-brainer. Getting the pickup right is nearly impossible. Yeah, right. And he's so right about that. Well, and you were involved in this, thankfully. Well, um, I was the guinea pig. I was the <laughs> test, I was the guy testing 
testing uh, the guitars out on the right. road and saying, no, it doesn't sound right there, and can you do this and can you do that? And, you know, they just kept evolving and, and changing. Well, and especially it, for your unique sound and playing style. We've got and, it down now. You know, I think so. Now, where can people find out more when our viewers are uh, wanting to see you on tour? Uh, oh, what's just your website? Website, website TommyEmmanuel.com. And uh, you can push on tours and all the dates come up. Or you can write to us or, you, you know, if you want to look at what I do, you can just put my name in on YouTube. Just push Tommy and it's the first one to come up. <laughs> There's so. a few videos on there. You know, yes. and also you've got the brand new CD out now yeah, as well. Yeah, with Martin Taylor, uh, you know, and, my uh, very good friend. I mean, uh, what a great CD. Thank you. You know, two very talented people. Mm. You know, well, that, that, was, that was a joy to make. Uh, so the Colonel and the Governor. Yeah. Uh, I'm the Colonel because I'm actually a, a Kentucky Colonel. <laughs> And, uh, awarded it, see? <laughs> and the governor, Martin, he, you know, it's, uh, it's a term of endearment that English people use. You know, when someone's like the boss, someone's really right. the best, you say he's the governor. Ah, you know? so that's why. So well, it's the colonel and the governor. Well, thank you so much for joining me, Tommy. You're welcome, Eric. Thanks, right. thanks for having me. And I'd like to thank my mother for having me. <laughs>